All right, um, the stove is going pretty good. Here's the uh, pepperoni and wild scallion bannock. I'm kind of hoping that's going to work out good. How could it not, though? Yep, I'm in my boxers because it's about 15 million billion degrees in here. For summer, I, I'd never tolerate this, ever. Now you got the down mat 9 right over there. Actually, down mat 9 DLX. Sleeping bag. EMR. And the stove. There's a heat exchanger, which is just rocking. No liner. Thank goodness, because I'm roasting as it is. And uh, let's see here. Look outside here. Well, maybe you can hear the noise. Uh, there's a river out there. And, uh, well, that's about it. All right, well, I'm going to continue my uh, my food here. Okay, I made another uh, batch of that bannock. This time I put even more, more goodness in there. Some more scallions, a little more pepperoni. There's the hemlock tea uh, simmering away there. Usually what you do is you dump in uh, hot boiling water, then you let it just cool on its own. You don't want to overdo it or else it'll come out a little like turpentine. One thing about wild edibles is if you don't actually incorporate them into your outings, it's just it's just not as fun. I mean, reading them online, so what? You know, picking up a couple, big deal. But uh, it's, I think it's just a good thing to throw in there. You know, another tool for the tool chest.